Hello, I'm Dr. William Inman. Most of you know me. I'm the, I'm the laser guy, essentially, you've been looking at for the last several years. I've been at this for about 25 years. <clears throat> My somewhat emaciated appearance is because I'm recovering from a lymphogranulomatous lymphoma, essentially a non-malignant, I'm sorry, a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and I'm being successfully treated with the new red-violet laser, which is a video for another day. But today's video is going to be about uh, something you're always going to use when you use these lasers, and that's the treatment of pain acute chronic and all different types of pain. There are over 25 different techniques of pain therapy involved with the new red violet laser which we'll discuss in detail. But first we're going to give you a little background on pain. And then about 18, I'm sorry, 1985, people realized that uh, frequency specific laser could ameliorate pain to some degree and as they can try to increase the power to the lasers, they realized the lasers wouldn't laze anymore they'd start to ionize so they'd had to use a different set of noble gases to get it to laze and they found a galenium and arsenium -ide, um, noble gases to use and in so doing what they did was they ended up with an infrared laser so that's where infrared lasers came from we're able to put huge amounts of power into infrared lasers now infrared lasers mean heat infrared is heat this is a red laser which basically is um, do, 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 do. This is a red laser, which basically delivers red in the red spectrum, but infrared you can't see. Infrared is heat, okay? So heat laser, most of all the lasers out there are infrared, and they're thought to be cold lasers even though they use heat. Now, the nature of a heating laser, an infrared laser, is such that it actually cooks the protein of the tissue, and what it does then, it raises it to about 54 degrees Celsius, and in so doing, it changes the leucine and isoleucine amino acids, basically give up their amino group become nitric oxide. Nitric oxide then has a vasodilatative effect essentially increasing the blood supply to the tissues and also decreases the arachidonic acid chemical that stimulates the pain fiber giving the impression or at least the sensation that pain is reduced. And that became popular and as they increase the amount of power and quote unquote penetration which we don't have to um, involve ourselves when we're using a frequency specific laser um, they ended up with devices that had huge amounts of power and started burning tissues, etc., etc. And we don't use infrared laser at all. This old laser, the laser that we used to use, and we still do, it's an amazing laser, is infrared and red. We almost always never use the infrared, but just the red laser. The new red-violet laser basically is just frequency specific. There is no infrared. And so what we do with these uh, protocols essentially is trying to ed uh, treat pain is when we treat pain with an infrared laser essentially we get vasodilatation that lasts for about three or four days if you laser continually and after that the, the nitric oxide effect is minimal if, if at all um, and that's not what we're indicated or what we're interested in doing what we do with a frequency specific laser is we produce vasodilatation directly to the tissue cell and to the uh, per peripheral uh, uh, tissue, essentially. We do so by increasing the vascular supply. Arterial is 100, venous is 4, uh, uh, capillary is 300. And ca uh, the lymphatic drainage, which is 230 and, and 42, also for pain is, is 465, 25, essentially. For nerve is 9 and 61. For muscle is, is 16. And then there's a number of other frequencies that are put into the frequency protocol set that directs towards a specific type of pain. For instance, pain subset joint would have all those in it, producing the vasodilatation that we want, but also would address cartilage, bone, ligament, muscle tissue, etc., etc., and synovial fluid and synovial cells. We're treating joint or pain subset joint. We're going to go through some of those in a minute. Now, the uh, effect of, of treating continually with a frequency specific laser is the effects are cumulative. And so, what we do instead of just ameliorating the pain for a short period of time, what we do is we actually treat the pain, but also we treat that which is causing the pain. And this is what's important because this gives us a solution as opposed to a temporary band aid. Okay. So when we created the uh, pro protocols uh, for the red-violet laser, we also included the upregulation protocols that basically allow us to bring the things from that are holding uh, these disease processes in place up to the surface and address them and get rid of them so the rest of the, the dominoes will fall. And that's the nature of this particular laser, essentially. And what it is, it is the state-of-the-art laser right now in the world, essentially. It is the first class six, I'm sorry, um, generation six laser uh, out there and because of its uh, frequency specific nature and because of its upregulating ability to use the red violet laser. The violet laser carries more energy per photon and allows upregulation. That's another video altogether essentially but I'm going to go over what it is that we're going to use for pain control for these particular um, deals here.
let me go, go ahead and as you bring this up essentially you go to pain and subset and then you click down and you put and the first one we get is pain due to acute injury and this is one that you would do if somebody stubbed their toe or somebody injured themselves acutely it upregulates probably from the pineal gland the next one is pain acute which is similar to this type of therapy essentially and it upregulates from the gallbladder the third one is chronic essentially and chronic uh, is in fact one that uh, we would use if there's been long-standing pain this one upregulates from a number of different uh, situations mostly the colon and the stomach <coughs> the fourth one is pain general and this would be a, a good sh uh, shot at, at somebody who has a, con a continual pain in their system in the shoulder or something like that uh, but we have other pain controls that will take care of that we have pain abdominal essentially and pain abdominal would be for somebody who has a recurrent gut pain essentially that upregulates from the gallbladder and we have pain head this would be for headaches and also for um, migraine headaches particularly we also have a frequency set for migraine headaches under M we have pain joint and this one we have you using continually pain joint basically directs itself to treating the conditions involving joint and joint pathology that are holding the pain problem in place you'll use this over and over and over if this is the only thing that you can use this laser for is pain subset joint then essentially what happens is you could basically not use any of the other protocols in this spot and this device would be certainly worth it um, in that regard and then we have pain abdominal vet which is one that we use for a veterinary application specifically and we have paraspinal we have one that is um, pain acute pain. and then we have pain cancer cancer related pain essentially is one that we would treat we also treat the underlying cancer condition we don't utilize this device to treat terminally cancer to basically say this plus cancer means no cancer we use this to treat the conditions associated with cancer such as pain and also the side effects from can from cancer chemotherapy we have another chronic frequency set here which works and also general non-tractable pain in other words if we can't get it to work on the other pain cy cycles we use general non-tractable pain and that addresses uh, again from the up regulates from the pineal gland which usually holds that in place then we have a pain general one two and three pain general one two and three pain general one is for musculoskeletal pain general two is for um, uh, mu uh, organ systems and pain general three is a combination of both of them then we have another one for pain for um, uh, head for vet we have another one that is um, pain for infection so an infection situation like an abscess we would treat that the pain associated with those particular uh, uh, techniques it also addresses that which is causing the infection which is important Oops, hold on. And then we have post-trauma pain, which is very much like acute injury, and um, that also could be used for somebody that has post-traumatic stress syndrome. And then we have pain spinal for virtually anybody that has acute spinal pain. You will use this over and over and over. Pain spinal is particularly effective, and you'll use it for treating just about any acute pain when somebody blows their disc, for instance. And then we have the last one, which is tissue challenge, and that is pain tissue challenge, and we use that to basically uh, zero in on pain uh, types of, of situations, essentially, for us to um, isolate and use that as a, a treatment tool and a diagnostic tool. These are the 24, 25 different versions of pain that we have in this device. That's to be said that there are, in fact, <coughs> a number of other uh, pain frequencies that we can use when we use the uh, fracture non-union um, uh, protocol which would be under F essentially is particularly effective for pain that doesn't respond and we're not exactly sure why that is but it works and so we go ahead and use it and there's a lot of other pain uh, a lot of other frequencies that we can or protocols that we can use that will address the pain too um, this is kind of a short uh, update on how it is that we use the uh, pain subset for, uh, subsets for all the pain uh, settings for protocols for this particular laser this laser is available only through me. <clears throat> you have to contact me via phone, area code 208-640-3430, 208-640-3430, or Dr. Bill at vomtech.com, V-O-M-T-E-C-H.com. And I can see if you have any more interest in getting a hold of one of these. They're about $8,700, and they are worth their weight in gold. It's like the first generation six laser on the planet and um, we they can't keep them in stock none of them have been re, re, uh, returned because they work so well um, thank you for listening as far as my emaciated appearance i am recovering quite nicely from my uh, non-hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, 
stay tuned to see whether or not uh, I make it. Haha. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.